So a question we get asked a lot here at Carl's Place is how do I clean my impact screen? So today what we're gonna do is uh, go over a few different methods to show how we recommend that you clean your impact screens. We have several different samples of our premium impact screen material uh, and we have dirtied them in various ways. So we're trying to uh, simulate like more common situations that we hear of like dirty golf balls hitting the screen or somebody's kid maybe took a marker or a pen and drew on the screen. Yeah! Oh! Ooh. Or uh, a screen fell on the ground or fell on a dirty garage floor. Uh, some of them we might have taken it a little bit to the extreme where you might not see this much staining on an impact screen but we wanted to get uh, some good options out there for you and we'll show you the best way to clean each one of these stains. Oh, so we're going to be starting off today with the dusty screen um, and what we recommend is using just a rag with some water and maybe a little bit of dish soap on it, just a mild dish soap. And all you do is you take that and you wipe at the screen. Oh, yeah, it took it right up, no stain left at all. So once you have your screen cleaned off, um, we've got a blow dryer over here. If I can reach it. Uh, because we always recommend, uh, especially with our impact screens. Oh my God, I got a Charlie horse so bad. Oh, that hurts. That happened the last time too. Oh my God, that hurts so bad. <laughs> so once you're done uh, cleaning your screen, we recommend you take a hair dryer or something like that on a low setting, uh, not a lot of heat, and use that to dry off your screen, make sure it gets good and dry. Uh, if you let it air dry, what can happen is uh, water stains will form on the screen, and those are pretty difficult to get rid of, so definitely recommend that you always use something like, like that to dry your screen after you clean it. So now what we're gonna do is move on to uh, the next screen, which has a little bit of a heavier stain on it. Um, this is maybe, again, something if you're using really dirty golf balls or clubs. Uh, what we would recommend is that you start off, again, just using a rag with soap and water, and that can help to get rid of any excess dirt that might be on the screen. Um, but you see, even after doing some wiping on this one, we still have some marks on the screen. So what we're gonna do is move on to our next recommendation, the Tide to Go pen. Uh, we find that this works very well for removing some more stubborn stains that maybe a, uh, a rag can't get rid of. Um, just pump some of the Tide to Go solution on there. Gently scrub the screen with the Tide to Go pen and you can see that the dirt and, and staining is coming right up. So this works well for kind of like more like spot treatments. If you're trying to do a larger area of the screen with this little thing, it would take a long time. Uh, so for smaller areas, this works fantastic. All right, so now we'll look at uh, maybe an area with a larger stain on it that maybe a Tide to Go pen won't, won't work quite so well with. Um, what we would recommend for that would be something like a handheld carpet shampooer. Uh, this is something you can pick up at big box retailers. Um, you can find them pretty much anywhere. Uh, so I just filled it up the tank with some water and then a little bit of the uh, shampooing solution uh, just to the manufacturer's guidelines. Apologize for the noise. We'll turn this on. And spray some of the solution onto the screen. Maybe give it a little bit of a scrub and then go right over the top of it and vacuum all that solution and dirt right up. So you see, after we did that, um, there are still a few spots on here that are being a little more difficult. Maybe the stain got ground in or a little more or left a little bit longer and it had a chance to set. 
So uh, what we're gonna do is move on to the LA's Totally Awesome. Uh, this is a great product. Uh, it's something that our production team uses if we happen to get a mark on the screen as we're manufacturing it here. Um, this is something you can pick up on Amazon or even like you know, a lot of times dollar stores will carry it. Uh, it's inexpensive, but it works great. So what we're gonna do is take this and just spray some on some of those more stubborn stains on the screen. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is much better than when we started off. Um, the stains that we had on here, they did sit for a while, so they had a chance to set up and really uh, work their way into the screen. So we, we definitely recommend if you see marks or stains on the screen that you work to get those cleaned as soon as you can. Um, but it is normal for if you've got a really stubborn uh, stain on the screen for there to be still maybe a little bit of a spot left, but again, it's a lot better than when we started. All right, so this next one is for uh, probably the parents out there. Uh, this is a screen that maybe a kid got to with some marker. Usually when it's uh, a washable marker, as long as you get to it on time, it's not a problem. Either the LA is totally awesome or a carpet cleaner will work. Um, or in this case, what we're gonna do is just use a combo of both to show you how effective they are. So what I'm gonna do is take some of the LA's totally awesome and we'll just kind of spray it on a portion of the screen here. Take our carpet shampooer here. Go right over the top. All right, and you can see the combo of those two products remove pretty much all the marker from that portion that we clean. You compare the bottom down here to the top that we didn't touch and you can see there's a pretty drastic difference. Pointing out again, this is washable marker that we had on this screen. If you have permanent markers or Sharpies or anything like that, it's gonna be much more difficult uh, to get any of those out of the screen. So make sure that you keep those away from the screen. Uh, you don't use a ball with any Sharpie marks on it because that can potentially transfer from the ball onto the screen as well. And then one other item besides marker that could possibly stain the screen is a colored golf ball. Uh, we recommend you use only white golf balls when hitting into the screen. Uh, some of the colored ones can also potentially cause the screen to stain. All right, so our last stain that we're gonna be working on uh, is some dirt and grass stains. Again, maybe you're using some golf balls or golf clubs that were dirty from around out on the course. Uh, what we're gonna recommend to start is using a, just the rag with uh, some soap and water on it. Uh, this can potentially help to get rid of the stain, but if nothing else, it'll just eliminate any excess dirt that might cling to the screen. You can see maybe it's lightening up a little bit, uh, but definitely still a stain there. So what we will do now is move on uh, to the LA's Totally Awesome again. Go ahead and spray that on the screen. So after letting that sit, we'll take the carpet shampooer again. There we go. Once again, you see the combination of the carpet shampooer and the LA's Totally Awesome uh, basically eliminated the stain that we had there before. And uh, you can repeat this process really as many times as you need to uh, to try to get rid of the stain. Uh, depending on the severity of the stain, it might not be possible to get 100% of it out, uh, but it's gonna be a big improvement than if you did nothing. 
All right, so uh, that was all the cleaning methods that we had that we recommend. Again, we always recommend that you start off with just a rag with some uh, dish soap and water on it to try to remove maybe any lighter stains that are on the screen. Uh, if that doesn't work, you can move up to something like the, the Tide to Go pen, which is great for spot cleaning some smaller areas that uh, you might have some trouble with. Um, but if for larger spots, definitely the LA's totally awesome is a great product. Again, we use it here in our production facilities. Um, and then probably my favorite thing is the carpet shampooer. Uh, definitely recommend you have something like that. It works great for getting spots and stains out of screens as you saw, and you can also use it around the house. So in general though, the best way to keep your screen clean is just don't let it get dirty in the first place. Uh, make sure you're always using clean golf balls, clean golf clubs. If you do happen to get it dirty, uh, just make sure you take care of it right away because those stains, if you let them sit, they can really work their way into the screen and be more stubborn and difficult to get rid of. All right, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any tips of your own for how to clean your screen or to keep it clean, uh, make sure you let us know below in the comments. As always, make sure you like and subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.